Right, so I've finally made some space in the garage and it's time to get the battery models out of the battery pack. So that's all the uh, T30 torque screws taken out. Um, now, there's no like sealant or anything, it's just a sort of rubber gasket used on these. Um, they obviously felt that being up in the middle of the car, they were quite well protected. So now. There we go. Eight battery modules. And then that's where the coolant or refrigerant lines come in. And then this is like the safety box type bit, SME. So now we have to uh, take the bolts out. That attach the uh, that tie all the batteries in together. We'll disconnect the orange leads going to each battery to separate them out. So that instead of having 400 volts, you got 48 volts. Uh, disconnect the BMS. Pull that out of the way. And then down in there, you can see there's the nuts that hold it in together. So you've got to get them out and then you can just make out here it's like a little uh, rack I guess for the uh, the coolant to go through and keep the batteries cool or indeed warm them up if you need to I'm not sure if you guys can make it out on the black plastic you can see the positive there and the negative there okay and then they just work their way around because these are all in series so positive negative positive negative and so on so this is a 8s battery configuration don't forget everyone if you're enjoying the content please like share and subscribe That's all the batteries disconnected. Now I'm going to take the plates that hold the batteries together out, and then the BMS which runs down the run, runs down the spine. Right. So these are 10 mil bolts. These BMS uh, connectors are really easy to undo. So literally there's a little black piece there you've got to push down and whilst you're pushing that down you pull this grey lever back and then undo it. Easy peasy. So these middle studs in here are quite tall. So in the ideal world, you want a 10 mil double depth socket. I don't have one. Uh, this one is quite a, quite a long one, but what I've done is I've not fully put it onto the uh, extension bar here, and then I've just taped it on. So that just gives me a little bit of extra length so I can get onto those longer studs. So let's get those nuts off. Right, so these things weigh about 25 kilos each, so this could be a bit fun getting this out. Yeah, that hurt. Shit in 
It was at this point that I remembered a video by B as in Bjorn on YouTube where he uses a strap to take the batteries out. Maybe should have checked that out earlier. So the first module in each row is going to be the most awkward one to get out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this end up then feed this strap underneath towards the middle and then I can pull it up nice and straight. Um, if you try and get two hands in on the diagonal and you can try and you know, you're just going to trap your finger and you know, cause bleeding. So lift it up get the strap under there, under the middle of the module, pull it straight up, easy peasy. So I've uh, popped the nuts back on because sometimes I remember to be a good boy and keep it all tidy. And this little connector that uh, connects the two rows together, it's just clipped on under here. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Excuse the camera work. So there you go. Just got to... Uh, release those clips there. And next we're going to look at taking this out. So I'll try and take, whoa, sorry, nearly fell over. Try and take all the electronic components out uh, so they can get stored safely in the garage. So that'll be the connector there, the SME, and all of these bits and pieces. All right, so, uh, these little connectors just push in and there you go they release quite easily which is a relief he says what well, attitude is not bad is it there we go it's coming so we'll get all that done One. You've got five bolts here, so one of them is a T20 and the others four T25s. Just one last job to do. Guess I better put the lid back on so I don't lose anything. 